it's Marion. Um, it's early morning on Wednesday. Well, it's not that early, but it's early. And um, I found this recipe uh, on uh, TikTok, I think, or one of those places that really, really, um, it really did something. It really was like a recipe that you could actually eat and enjoy even if you're not on keto, but especially if you're on keto, because you know, uh, food is so different when you're not eating all the carbs. And so when you find a recipe that is so close to the real thing, you got to try it. So I did. And uh, let me get the ingredients so you can um, jot them down. Okay, so you're going to need some almond flour, three quarters of a cup, four eggs, and I put them out and uh, got them room temperature, uh, just because. Four ounces of cream cheese, um, a teaspoon of vanilla, I just poured it in, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, and you're going to need some cheese. Now, I ran out of mozzarella. How in the world did I do that? I don't know. But I did have a couple of packages of uh, Mexican cheese, and that's just as good. Um, one teaspoon of sweetener, whatever sweetener you like. Um, and then some, uh, and heck, I have one of those little, well, you don't have to, but you can have any size waffle iron you want. I use the little uh, dash iron and I'm going to show you that in just a second but you um, put all the ingredients you don't have to mix it with a mixer but you put all the ingredients in a bowl and I'm going to show you that also and um, then you, you just let it sit for about five minutes to build up the, uh, uh, the, the ingredients to make it fluffy and um, so then you put a little bit of cheese. Well, first you spray it with the with your spray. I use um, avocado spray because there's nothing in there except avocado oil. And um, so you spray that, and then you put down a little bit of cheese first on the first layer, and then you scoop on your uh, batter. And I went a little overboard at the first time, so the next time I use a little less, and it was perfect. And then you put a little bit more cheese on top of that batter. And then you close the little dash top. And um, my light goes out when it's finished. And so you take them out and then you let them sit for just a few seconds just to get them, if you want them crunchy. And I love the crunch. You can use this for breakfast. You can use it as a savory snack. You can put like, I don't know, like pepperoni on it and then have it dip it uh, into the marinara sauce and have like that kind of a snack. You could put chocolate chips in it. You can actually delete or delete, <laughs> leave out the sugar if you want a savory uh, waffle. Um, or you can add a little more uh, like chocolate chips or nuts or anything that you like. And you just uh, put the top down and it, I'm telling you, it is delicious. You would never know that it was a keto um, a food, keto food. So hold on. I'm going to take you over to where I have my supplies and show you everything. And if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you for stopping by. And I do appreciate you taking the time to spend a little time with me. I know time is precious especially in this day and age, it goes like that. And I appreciate my tried and trues that stop by also. Never, never leave you out. All right, let's go over to the kitchen. Oh my God, did I do that? Oh. All right, so let's start over again. I've got my dash and it's turned on. And when that little blue light goes off, that means it's ready to put your waffle in there. 
Um, I sprayed it with the avocado oil. I've got my baking powder, my almond flour. I have my Mexican cheese. I don't have any mozzarella, but this works just as well. Any kind of cheese you like. Monk fruit sweetener is what I use. And then I have my um, cream cheese that it's Kirkland brand that I got at Sam's. So as soon as this is ready, I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, the light went out as you can see and so I'm opening this up I already sprayed it and first I'm going to put a small layer a light layer I should say of cheese on the bottom and then I am going to put a nice even layer of the batter on here and I spread it out just a little but I want to make sure that I do get a full size waffle and then you put the thing down oops wait a minute I forgot one other step all right one more a little bit more cheese on top and this gives it the crunch that you want and then now I'm going to wait for that light, that blue light's back on again. When it goes out, that means this waffle is done. So we'll be back in a minute. So I just wanted to show you that when you put a little bit too much batter in there, that's what happens. It puffs up a little bit too much, but it's okay because it'll come out delicious anyway. All right, back in a minute. Okay, the blue light just went out. Oh. <laughs> and this is what we have. Look at that deliciousness. Look at that. Can you see it? I'm going to take it out and put it on a plate. And show you exactly what happens and what to do next. So I just kind of loosen it up around the edges here and then lift it out, put it on the plate. Hear that? Now we're just going to leave it sit for just a few seconds just so it uh, gets it, it, it uh, gets that crunch onto it. Can't see it. There you go. I'm just going to flip it over for you. Look at that. Look at that cheese. Can you see that cheese on there? Yum, yum. Let's go over to the table and we'll take a taste. Okay, now that you're sitting, we're sitting down, I'm sitting down. That is what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? Now, you can put, if you wanted to, you could put anything on here you wanted. In fact, in the batter, you can put like garlic powder, onion powder, and then when you put your first layer of cheese, then you put your batter, you can put pepperoni in there, and then put some more cheese on top of it and make it into like a little mini pizza. How about that on keto? Can you believe that? I'm telling you, this is the best tasting recipe that I have found. And I've been searching because the egg and cheese, just egg and cheese does not work for me. It's good, yes, but it doesn't work for me. It doesn't give me that full feeling that you need when you're on keto. So this is perfection. I'm, I promise you, you will love it. So let's take a bite. That is so good, even with nothing else on it. And if you put a little sugar-free um, syrup on this, or even regular pure maple syrup, 
so, so delicious. We had this this morning with sausage and some bacon. Nate made a sandwich out of it, but it was a little bit too, too thick to make a sandwich. If you wanted to make a sandwich, you would make these a little bit thinner. And then you could put anything you want in it. You can taste the cheese in this and not the almond flour. Or the cream cheese. Or the egg. Sometimes things like this get so eggy and cream cheesy. It just is not good. It just doesn't taste good to me. But this, this is delicious. I highly recommend you make this. Even if you're not keto, this is so, so good. So, that's it for today. I will put all of the directions down below with the exact amounts and everything down below in the description box. Try and make it. And if you do, please let me know if you do and what you think of it. And I thank you for stopping by again. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. And also, um, don't forget to hit that little bell and you'll be notified when I upload another video. So, and most importantly, be kind to one another because it is a rough world out there. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.